Today we're going to be talking about a big old nasty burr, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and today's show is from a man, Sebastian. And this one, I think this is perfect for you, bro, in the way that this deal could be perfect for somebody. This is a huge bird deal, dude. This thing is jacked, right? And you as a contractor yourself know just how crazy the construction industry is right now, right? This is a massive deal, right? Condemned house. We need to do any and everything, right? Uh, I tell people... You know, when you do bird deals, when you get into real estate, these are not beginner deals. Now, I know you're new at real estate investing, Sebastian, but you are a contractor. You've been a contractor for many years. So I'm going to run the numbers based upon how much my company would charge for this. But as you and I know, and I'll discuss this later, these numbers are subject to change given the way suppliers and supply chains are acting these days, right, post-COVID. But you being a contractor yourself, you taking over, Right, doing the renovation yourself, really dialing down your costs, saving some money, getting some equity, doing that work yourself. This is the kind of deal that I think a guy like you needs to do, right? Because you have that advantage. You can do what 99.9% .9 of the other investors out there cannot do. You can get into that house and run the crew and do the work yourself. Let's check it out. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this one. Woo, boy. This is going to be a biggie, okay? This is going to be a biggie. This house right here, folks. See this? It's probably kind of hard to see on the TV. But you see what that is? That's a condemned sign, okay? That's a condemned sign. Now, when you're doing a house, you get houses that are jacked. And, oh, boy, is this one jacked. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. Is is this, uh, what's going on here? That's like, there we go. Yeah, this one's just all jacked, right? It's a full-on gut job rehab. But you see, a full-on gut job rehab like this one is going to actually be even more expensive because it actually hit the condemned status, okay? Once a property becomes condemned, as you can see, I mean, we got to do everything, right? There ain't nothing that's uh, really all that salvageable here. Once the property gets to condemned status, right, you no longer get to, to do your renovations uh, up to, uh, let me rephrase. Once a property gets to a condemned status, you no longer get the benefit of things that are grandfathered in, right? Like we're here in the Cleveland market, right? Like this property, uh, the address on this one, it's 3209 West 90th, Cleveland, 44102, right? So we're here in Cleveland, Ohio. In Cleveland, in the Cleveland market, what we have is a very old housing stock. We have a lot of 100-year-old houses, okay? And with that, you get uh, a lot of things that were built back then that were up to building codes and standards at that time that is no longer the case, right? Like something that I know blows a lot of people from like California's mind or other markets where the housing stock is much newer is knob and tube wiring, right? Are you allowed in Cleveland today to build a house with knob and tube wiring? No, absolutely not. Are you required to pull all knob and tube wiring out of old homes in the Cleveland market? No, 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 no. Uh, in, in the city of Cleveland, I believe there's, I, I want to say there's either 70 or 80, maybe 90,000 rental properties in the city of Cleveland itself, right? Between 70 and 90,000, okay? Let's say 90,000. Do you think that all 90,000 of those have no knob and tube wiring? No, I would venture to guess probably at least 85 to 87,000 of those 90,000 still have knob and tube wiring in them, okay? Uh, that is just how things are, right? So this one's condemned, though. So now uh, all that's off the table. You have to completely renovate this thing up to building code uh, standards of today, right? So 
with that, we're going to be doing a huge burr, right? A huge burr. And you got to pick it up for a pretty cheap price. Right now, they're asking 30 But I don't think we could pay 30 The most we could pay is 15 Because honestly, when it comes down to it, by the end of this, as you can see from the chart, we're going to be spending every bit of about 85 k on this bird deal, right? So we're going to be all into this thing for 100 right? Because we have to do everything to this, okay? These are some of the things we're going to need to do to this property. New roof. New furnace. New hot water tank, new electrical wiring, new HVAC ducts and runs, new PEX plumbing throughout. Uh, we are definitely going to need to get this lead certified, right? So we're going to need to do new windows. We're going to need to vinyl side it. Then on the inside, we're going to need to put it back together. New drywall, okay? Flooring, right? If we could salvage the floor by refinishing it, we will. If not, we'll probably do vinyl allure throughout each of the units, repaint everything, new Home Depot, Lowe's quality cabinetry, and the kitchens in the baths. At the end of the day, you're looking at about 85 k Now, here's the thing you need to understand. When you're trying to do a bird deal with this big of a renovation, uh, dealing with the city, dealing with this, dealing with that, these are the deals uh, where you're going to need to go into these things with some unknowns, right? It is very possible you get into the middle of this job and your prices are going to go up, right? This is 2022, folks. This is after all the COVID shutdowns, all this or that, right? What you're going to see is uh, material costs fluctuating in the market, right? Now, when material costs like that fluctuate, I hope you don't think Holton Wise, we bid it, and then we're like, oh, yeah, here's the thing. But if, like, down the road, material costs, uh, they dramatically go up and, like, uh, the cost of your rental is going to go way, way up because it's such a wide open reno here, we'll just eat that and we'll do the reno uh, for you with a loss. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course, contractors are factoring this stuff in and you'll start to see things like uh, allowances or letting you know, hey, this is the price we think it'll be. But if there's a crazy uh, material shortage uh, or increase in price, guess who's footing the bill? You are, right? So there is some openness to this. I believe right now looking at 85 is a very good number, but when you're doing a large, large, large-scale, big-time rental like this, you need to understand that there will be some unknowns. Now, if it goes according to plan, it's a banger of a deal, right? You're all in for 100 We'll be able to then rent each of the units for eight hundred apiece, sixteen hundred, nineteen thousand two hundred for the year. After you factor in your fixed variable expense estimates with us running everything for you, you're looking at approximately nine thousand six hundred eighty-four for the year. And then with the power of the burst strategy, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. It's an amazing strategy, but don't think there's not risk, especially with a big one like this. I believe we'll get an ARV of one hundred twenty. So you're all in. At 100, bank kicks back 90. Long term, you're only going to be $10,000 into the deal, which is a massive, massive cash on cash return. But what you have to understand is there's going to be some unknowns here, right? Like we're going to do an inspection. Uh, but more or less, you're still looking at about that 85K ballpark. The only thing the inspection would tell me is if there's a foundation issue, which would then blow it. You wouldn't be able to do the deal. But there's going to be other things at play, like when you're doing the whole renovation, are you going to end up needing to completely dig up the driveway uh, to replace uh, the main stack all the way to the street? If so, that could add like 15K to your budget, things of that nature, right? There will be some unknowns, and you're going to get some supply chain issues, right? Like right now, you know it's really hard to buy? Windows. And you know what you need brand new throughout the whole house? Windows, right? There's a lot of windows in a duplex, right? So if everything goes well, the numbers, as you can see, are amazing. But you guys need to understand, this is not the type of bird deal that a brand new investor should be doing. This is a highly profitable deal if it goes right. But you guys need to understand, this is real estate investing. The bigger the deal, the more variables. Uh, this one does have a chance of going up and down off that, well, not really down, <laughs> more like up off that budget, right? So that is a possibility, right? Do I think it would be dramatically higher? No. Do I think like, yeah, I'm ballparking at 85 and your rehab budget ends up being 150? No, that's not going to happen, but it's very possible 
you end up close to like 100K. That, that 85 could definitely go up to 100K. So uh, I would like you to just understand that, right? You want to do bird deals. You want to get in with the big dogs. You want to make that big equity. You want to get that huge cash on cash return. You want to ha only have 10K left into the deal. You want to sink your teeth into it. This is what it looks like. OK, I've made millions of dollars doing deals like this. But guess what? I'd be lying to you if I told you every single one went according to plan. So we can absolutely put this thing together. These are my projections for you. think it would be a pretty solid deal. However, I need you to know that, hey, man, if it goes over budget, it goes over budget. That's the way the cookie crumbles in the jungle. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education and entertainment.